what's happening crypto fam happy happy monday good morning and welcome back to love for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you here i appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content so thank you apologies for the lack of videos towards the back end of last week i uh, did me back in i was bed bound for a few days and i literally just couldn't be asked doing a video from bed um so yeah apologies if you was expecting videos and didn't get them or waiting for videos and didn't get them However, we're back. We're feeling better. And we got some news that broke over the weekend. Um, Friday, I believe. RippleNet has been listed as a direct alternative to SWIFT by Arab Monetary Fund Group. This is massive. This is as big as we told you it was always going to be. It was a SWIFT alternative. Um, sooner or later, they're going to say it. They're going to show it. They're going to advertise it. It, we've also said that it could be added to the SDR basket any year, um, even though they usually only add them one every in the five-year um, review, which we passed last year, I believe. So it could be 2025 again. Interesting number that I think I kept saying 2025. It could end up in the SDR basket in 2025. However. An advisory group from the Arab Monetary Fund has listed RippleNet as a direct alternative to SWIFT. The Arab Regional Fintech Working Group has recently released a practical guide for Arab central banks looking to understand the nuances of the digital assets market. So Arab Regional Bank Fintech Group reports central bank digital currencies, a practical guide for Arab central banks, mentions Ripple as an alternative system in two places hyperlink available in in the article linked in the description um very interesting the working group advised arab central banks to improve their messaging protocols using systems such as switch gpi and significantly RippleNet. this comes just two days after the revelation that the clearinghouse and known ripple partner is collaborate collaborating with Wells Fargo to produce an alternative payment system to SWIFT. An alternative payment system to SWIFT. Which Ripple's XRP is unique. The paper also specifically named Ripple's XRP as a unique cryptocurrency in so far as it was one of the first designed primarily for payments. In contrast to most crypto assets, which are labelled as speculative stores of value, including a direct link to Ripple's future of CBDC report. The advisory paper clearly sees Ripple as having a serious role to play in the future blockchain-based global financial infrastructure. We've said it all along. We've said it all along. In reviewing recent global developments in digital currency, the advisory group specifically mentioned the ECB's digital euro project and concluded that the experiment's findings reveal that none of the examined topics have significant technical restrictions and the design requirements can be met. Ripple has recently become a member of the Digital Euro Association. Incumbent marketplaces such as SWIFT are now increasingly only being mentioned alongside underdog alternatives such as Ripple. This, along with recent positive developments in the questionable SEC court case, is all ultimately further evidence that Ripple's future is seemingly increasingly secure. Fascinating. Now, as what about the case, some may ask. Well, according to finance feeds... Ripple settlement may trigger XRP price to skyrocket, says FX Open Executive. Natalia Zakharova from FX Open, the leading retail and institution FX broker, told Financial Fees that Ripple is expected to either win or the case to be settled in Ripple's favour. The SEC v. Ripple lawsuit is currently waiting for a court decision on the SEC's motion for reconsideration, in which the plaintiff now claims the ex-SEC Hinman's 2018 speech was public guidance rather than his personal opinion. To the 180 turn, 
aims to persuade Judge Sarah Netburn to consider the notes and the emails related to him and speech and to be protected by DPP. The upcoming ruling has been said to be the biggest decision in the XRP lawsuit and is likely to take place ahead of the scheduled settlement meetings hosted by Judge Netburn. It was seen all the privileged documents. The mediation could successfully help Ripple and the SEC to reach a settlement as soon as April. April. The so settlement in the SEC v Ripple is believed to be a potential major trigger for the next price moves in the XRP market. The digital assets market performance has disappointed many who believe the court case has caused hesitancy in XRP adoption within the industry. Hesitancy. Hesitancy. <laughs> Hesitancy in XRP adoption. Is that what you is that what is that the word you're gonna use when most American exchanges actually removed it from the pairs? Hesitancy in XRP adoption. Don't you mean the outright delisting and FUD spreading? I mean god damn <laughs> Crypto holders and investors may have also refrained from buying or doubling down on their holdings. The delisting of XRP at Coinbase and many other US exchanges took its toll. They got there in the end in the next paragraph. I'll give them that. The big question on most people's lips, especially all the get rich quick knobheads, are going to be will XRP skyrocket? A mid settlement in SEC v Ripple, well, you would expect it to gain some upward momentum, yes, but you would also expect that with the whole of the market. This is why people are being a little bit tunnel vision, as if this is going to only bring clarity to Ripple and XRP. This will bring a hell of a lot of clarity to a hell of a lot of coins. Your proof of work, your proof of all of everything else might be a little bit different, but proof of stake, consensus validation. It's getting regs, it's getting regulated. It's just a matter of time. So finance fees have spoken to Natalia Zakharova, head of business development at FX Open, to ascertain her views on the XRP lawsuit and the potential for an up, upside triggered by a settlement. Fascinating. Whilst it's not yet conclusive, there's definitely a sway of opinion towards uh, litigation against Ripple to be settled in its favour. And many leading academics from major universities have already publicly stated opinions that the lawsuit is baseless and that Ripple will either win or it will be settled in Ripple's favour outside of the courtroom. As to the price of XRP, Miss Zakharova said there is at most definitely a possibility of its value accelerating dramatically as Ripple keep building its scope and network across the globe. Listen, listen, right? I don't want to call any certain demographic idiots because we've all got them. 75% of people everywhere are fucking idiots, right? Idiots. It's just in the Western Hemisphere... The biggest, loudest country is America, with 360-odd million people. You've got a lot of idiots. UK's only got 70 million people. There's nowhere near as many idiots. So you're louder. You're fucking louder. Right? Now... People just need to chill the fuck out. Be patient and expect this to fucking blow, right? Because what once the Americans are able to buy again, it's fucking you understand the kind of rush you could see piling in towards America, don't you? Right? You understand that it could be absolutely fucking ridiculous. So on that note, be ready. Invest in yourself, the internet of value. Live long and not all that shit. Never let it go. Get it staked, get it baked. Yeah? And I will see you on the next one. We love crypto, we love XRP, and we love you. Peace.